I guess it's time to get out of bed. Alrighty today, do I feel like having a latte or do I feel like having just a regular cup of coffee? Let's see. You know, I think I just feel like having a regular cup of coffee. What do I want? I still have a bunch of these Barney's White Christmases left. And I still have Caribou Coffee Daybreak Blend. And I still have some Half Calf. Oh, get that away. I don't want no Half Calf. But usually when I make a latte, I use my hazelnut coffee, which is in here. Huh. Let's see. You know what? Let's do some regular Caribou Coffee Daybreak. All right, well, cheers everybody. I put a little bit of soy milk in this to kind of, I don't really use creamer that much anymore and I really don't have anything other than black coffee most of the time. Um, but it really depends on how my stomach or something's doing because sometimes the coffee will get my stomach upset and it's still getting over some of the food that I eat in Boston. I ate a lot of great food, but it was bad. Some of it was really bad. So I'm still getting over that, so I threw a little bit of soy milk in here. Kind of lighten it up a little bit. Out of my new Starbucks Boston mug that I love. I love this mug so much. And, um, hold on. <sighs> that was good. So I'm starting off today with a film. One of my personal favorites. Um, I'll be watching, I'll be actually talking about it in a, in a, um, the first video for my 2000, and, not my 2000, my 250 favorite film series I'm doing on my main channel that I planned on starting before Boston, but then I planned on waiting until after Boston, and, um, when I get my Boston videos up, that's when I was going to start it. And I'm talking about John Cassavetes' The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. And I'll talk more about this in um, that video, but this is like one of his more under, I think out of his famous films, this is like the more underrated one. Um, it's my favorite of his films. It's not the best film of his. I think Woman Under the, Woman Under the Influence, um, uh, maybe, at least, maybe one more, I think, are, you know, better films. But in terms of my favorite, this is my favorite John Cassavetes film, The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. This has two cuts, a 1976 cut, which is 135 minutes in length, and then there's the re-release version, which is the 1978 cut um, from 1978. So I always watch the original version. So, and I'll talk about in that video that I do, um, you know, Cassavetti's preferred cut. Did he have a preferred cut? Um, the differences about the film, all that kind of stuff. So look forward to that. Um, and I hate when this happens, but I put the Blu-ray disc in, or the DVD disc, because I don't have this set, Cassavetti set on Blu-ray yet. I still have it on DVD. Um, but I, do you guys ever have the problem where your Blu-ray player freezes up? It's updated and everything, but randomly it'll freeze up. Um, that's just the thing with technology being all digital and computerized nowadays, is that everything freezes up, or everything being connected to the internet. And being, you know, I don't know. I might have just made that up. I'm really um, still waking up. Enjoying my coffee for sure. So, let me go and freeze my Blu-ray player. Alright, well it's time to go eat some lunch with my wife at work. At her work. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. wonder what people do with all that stuff that they pack into the back of their trucks like that that are just hanging off the edge and everything and it's like overly packed you kind of tell it's been there for a while if you're like that what do you do with all that stuff
right, now we're going to have dinner. I forgot what the place is called, but they have acai bowl, bowls. I was about to say so. <laughs> acai bowls. So I tried it in Boston. I loved it. So I'm going to try one here. <laughs> 